Hello friends, I'm Moom and today we're diving the fantastic world of Linux again after a long time. And this time we have an amazing update of Linux Mint 22.1 beta. Now you might be thinking, it's Linux Mint, it's way too old. And especially, a traditional desktop environment like Cinnamon, what can be new about it? Well, let me tell you, almost everything. This time there are so many updates which are solely exclusive to Linux Mint only. And then we have a lot of updates of the Cinnamon desktop environment. And that makes Linux Mint the most stable and awesome Linux distro in the whole planet right now. Which I personally use for my, well, let me just give you a spoiler. A new video about Linux Mint setup for coding is coming on this channel. So subscribe if you don't want to miss that film. Now let's get back to the topic. You see, Linux Mint is traditional, I accept that, and it is the most basic system you can get off Linux. For beginners, it's completely awesome. Now, you might be wondering, well, it's old, it's traditional, it doesn't look that great as GNOME-based distributions or KDE. Well, let me tell you, Cinnamon Desktop Environment allows you to customize so many things that are even not available on GNU. And if you search for Cinnamon Customizations on Google or Unix Pond, you will see the power and control you have over your Linux Mint setup. And that is why I am saying, Linux Mint is the King Kong of Linux. With the power which is so awesome that outbeats Arch Linux as well as so stable that it is amazing for a person who is very new to Linux. And today we are going to dive into the update of its latest Linux Mint 22.1 beta. And even if it's in beta channel, there are a lot of updates, starting with Now, starting with the most obvious update which is the best till now is the modernization of APT. You see, APT is not just a command line tool which is used for installing and uninstalling packages, it's way beyond that. It's an ecosystem which consists of a lot of packages like Synaptic which is used for software updates and installation, GDB which is used for installing Debian packages, and APT URI, which I don't know. These are the core foundations of Linux Mint, which is used to install, manage, and organize application in the system. Now, most of the tools were not updated since a lot of time, and they were created like decades ago. And that is why Linux Mint and Debian had to do something about it. And so, they made a transition from Captain to APT Kit. Well, both of them are still on Linux Mint, but there's a transition going on. You see, APT Kit is like a Debian package management, while Captain has features of installing Debian packages, as well as a lot of utility tools as well. Now, all in all, just for example, now all the applications which you're seeing right now, all of them have updated packages, better stability, and security with optimizations across the system. And now the development of these applications is a lot easier for developers or coders who create these applications. Now you might be wondering, all these updates looks like are for developers, but not yet. If developers aren't feeling easy to create applications on Linux Mint for Linux Mint, then we will get optimized and better stable application which will run as native as on Windows or Mac OS, just like that. Just for example, like VirtualBox here, we have a system package of Linux Mint. Now, this beta version allows it to just install the whole application in 60 MBs, while on Windows or Mac OS, it might take around a couple of 100 MBs as well. And the stability of these applications on Linux increases multiple times as compared to Windows. Hence, your applications will be a lot smoother and better optimized for your system as they were on Windows. Now let's hop into another update which is really the best. And those are power modes. As you can see right now here, we have two power modes, balanced and power saver. Now I'm using a laptop, that is why it is showing me that, you know, there are only two. But if you had a desktop with power supply, you will also get a power mode of performance. Let me just turn it into balance right now. Now what this does is limit your CPU usage to conserve battery as well as efficiently doing all the processes without heating up. And that was the thing which was needed on Linux because you see Linux on laptops were not that great as compared to desktop. But now they are. 
So feel free to install Linux on your laptop if you have one. And let's move to the next update, which is a lot bigger one than you think. That is Cinnamon 6.4 desktop environment. There it is, the Linux Mint 22.1 Cinnamon. And right now we cannot see, well, there it is. Cinnamon 6.4.2, which is the latest right now. And now let's dive deep into the update of Cinnamon 6.4, starting with the new theme. The new default theme of Cinnamon looks awesome. Now, in order to use the latest theme, you need to go to the themes setting and go to desktop and choose Cinnamon instead of any Linux Mint theme. As there it is, Cinnamon. And let me just choose this one, Cinnamon, as well. Like really, it is so hard to choose the Cinnamon theme when we have a lot of Linux Mint themes. Where it can be is indeed a great question and I'm unable to find the Linux Mint theme. So I'll just let it stay the way it is. Now, if I show you, the round corners are looking awesome. And when we click that, the new option menu is also awesome. And yes, finally, there are curves in the corner, which is really great. And then going to a few applications, then there isn't much update in that. So all in all, the cinnamon desktop, as you can see, the corners are so curvy and good looking, I'll say. Like really, it has been such a long time to see corners natively into cinnamon desktop without any themes. Earlier, we had to apply themes like Orkis GDK theme to get those beautiful corners. But now, we have that natively. And how can you forget? The audio, it has also these beautiful GNOME-like audio increasing and decreasing on-screen elements. Yep, they are looking pretty good. And now, let's get to my favorite part of this update, the artworks. Just right-click on the desktop, go to change desktop backgrounds, and here we are. You see, when you go to this wallpaper section instead of Wilma or Linux Mint, then you can see a bunch of beautiful wallpapers which comes with Cinnamon Desktop Environment. Let me just show you. Look at this one. This is looking beautiful, isn't it? Let's see something else like this one. Now, this is also awesome. And if you are a minimalist, then this is also beautiful as well. I really like this one. And you see, the best thing I love about Linux Mint backgrounds and wallpapers is that, you see, whenever you apply a wallpaper on Windows or Android desktops or Chrome OS or even Mac OS, the resolution seems a little blurry whenever you apply them. But on Linux Mint, the wallpapers are crystal sharp. They are so clear that if you even zoom to the pixels, they are sharpened. And that looks beautiful. Just look at that. It is so damn beautiful along with the curls. Every pixel is so properly sharpened to the approximation of like perfect. Well, looks like I found my type of wallpaper here, which is blue. And now let's get to the main part, which is the biggest highlight of Linux Mint 22.1 Beta for people like me and other developers or creators who wants to make sure that their Linux Mint stays up to date with the latest or the greatest codecs and drivers as well as getting proper stability as well as performance. And that comes from the Linux kernel and package management systems. And as you can see right now, it is based on 6.8.0 Linux kernel as well as Ubuntu 24.04 LTS base which means you're gonna get latest softwares along with great stability this time. Well, that has been the case for most of the time whenever we talk about the King Kong of Linux which is Linux Mint. And if you still remember then Linux Mint 22.1 is an LTS release. So you don't need to worry about updates and support because Linux Mint is gonna give you support until 2029, which is way too long. So if you want this to become your daily driver of your laptop or desktop, then Linux Mint might be the go. And I believe that's it for today because I want to create another video which will precisely cover on Cinnamon 6.4 desktop. And if you don't want to miss that one, then subscribe for almost daily dose of Linux content and a lot of other tech content uploaded on this channel. And I'll meet you in the next video. Till then, I'm Oom, signing out.